The message is, some will not make it. Some will not make it. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. And that's the reason why I said, some will not make it. Just what I said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and will do mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, listen to this, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of flawlessness. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. You see, everyone is not coming home. Not everyone will make it. He said in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Why do you call me, Lord, Lord? And do not do what I tell you. He said in Matthew 7, verse 22, Many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did it will prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do mighty works in your name. Believe that, my dear friend, we must consider our conduct here on this earth because this will determine where we end up when we die. We must make the right choices here on the earth before we leave this earth. Believe that we must have Jesus Christ central in our lives that we may live for him and not for ourselves. Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14, enter by the narrow gate. That is a command. Enter by the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is easy. That leads to destruction and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. I wonder why only few people find it. And that's the reason why I'm telling you today. Some will not make it to the kingdom of God. Some of you will not make it to heaven. You see, the way is hard. The gate is narrow that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Now you see, Jesus Christ made the way narrow. He says the way. Jesus is the way to God. Jesus is the truth of life. And Jesus is the life itself. I believe this homecoming called the kingdom of heaven was intended for all of us to do well. God being the father of just as well as the unjust intended for us all to do well in the kingdom of heaven. But not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Everyone is not coming home. Because heaven is a place prepared for the people of God. Do you hear that? Heaven is a place prepared for a people of God. And I believe if you live it right, treat your neighbor right, the God in rule, if you should do the will of God, and if you keep God's commandment, abide in His love, God will welcome me home one day. But not everyone who says to the Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Amen. That's why Jesus Christ said, If you love me, keep my commandment. Christianity is practical, not theory. Right now, you need a savior. Because on the last day, Jesus Christ will say it to many of us, He will say to them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you not. What a great day that will be. In the name of Jesus Christ, you may say I prophesied, you have cast out demons, you have done and witnessed great wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, you might have prophesied, you might have cast out demons, you might have done many wonders, but God has declared, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter in the kingdom of heaven. I am fully persuaded that there is a life after this life. There is a heaven which is far more better than this earth. A place where God will wipe away every tears from our eyes. A place where there is no sorrow. A place where there is no crying. A place where there is no war. A place where there is no fighting. A place where the former things are passed away. But some will make it and some will not. I am persuaded to believe that we will meet our loved ones in heaven and persuade that at the days of heart, harm, fear, danger will cease. I am fully persuaded 
Everyone will not come home. Some will not make it. Some of us, we kick the gold dust. Some of us, we see the pearl gate, but not everyone will see it. In closing, there will be no exception without exception of confession with your mouth. There will be no exception without exception of belief in your heart. There will be no exception without exception of this great truth that God has risen in him from the dead. And that is the reason the Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God is up from death, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified. And with the mouth one confesses is saved. Amen. Here is the warning. Everyone is not coming home. Jesus Christ will tell some people on that last day, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Definitely, some will not make it. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, we enter into the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. Amen. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord.